A few mornings ago, I realized something. That frankly, I should have realized sooner. Today, we're going to look at how I turned images that look like this into something that looks like this. Let's go. Hey, welcome back. I hope you're doing well. If you're new here, my name is Satya and I make videos about photography, filmmaking and creative journey. Anamorphic look is something you could achieve with an anamorphic lens or anamorphic adapters that you can screw on in front of your regular spherical lenses. They basically squeeze the image your camera sees on the horizontal side so as to fit in more in your sensor or your film, which is then de-squeezed in post, either through a different projection lens if shot with film or in your editing application manually. This is commonly used on motion picture films and now short films and YouTube videos uh, and whatnot. Basically, video applications. Panoramic film cameras, on the other hand, are photography cameras, and they use a wider canvas of the same format film to capture more from the same scene. There's no squeezing or de-squeezing involved in the process. The lens uh, for these panoramic cameras are specially designed to project a larger image circle, and the camera usually has provisions to then capture that onto a larger surface area. The idea basically is to put these two together. Um, a few days ago I bought a Nikon to Fuji adapter because I have a 50mm Nikon lens. I wanted to use it on my Fuji camera um, and I already own an anamorphic adapter so I was trying that on this lens just testing it out and when I took the lens out I had the adapter on and I just put it back on the Nikon F4 without thinking about it and when I did that I was like wait a second I could actually shoot some film on this camera with this adapter on and because we digitize film uh, these days I could de-squeeze the film in post and potentially achieve a panorama with an anamorphic look. Yeah that's basically what went through my head and I tried it. It's in terms of the adapter it's a 1.5x adapter the anamorphic adapter which means it brings in essentially 1.5 times more on the horizontal side into the film, um, which I could then de-squeeze and produce a ratio of 2.25 to one, which is technically a panorama, if you think about it, <laughs> even though it's not quite wide, like an X-band, which produces a ratio of 2.66 to one. Now, to top that off, there is a major, okay, maybe not major, but definitely a hurdle. Uh, because Nikon F4 is an SLR, um, whatever you're seeing in the viewfinder goes through the lens and now I have an anamorphic adapter in front of my lens which means the image that comes through the lens will be squeezed and therefore what I see on my viewfinder is a squeezed image as well so it's going to be tricky to be out and about and frame using that viewfinder but with that in mind I popped the adapter in front of the lens put a film through the camera and went to shoot some everyday scenes by the Thames here in London. I had a shot list planned for this day, but once I got there, I got so excited at the fact that I was trying something new, all of that went out the window. Composing with the squeezed image through the viewfinder was definitely hard for the first half a dozen shots. And then I got used to it. It was almost like I was seeing in wider format. complex shots or shots that I wanted to be sure of, I did take out my phone and used the viewfinder app to frame.
So originally I was supposed to shoot half a roll during daylight and half around sunset and blue hour. But when we got to sunset I had about six shots left. While I'm sad that I didn't shoot a lot of it at night, I'm sure I'll have plenty of opportunities to do that in the future. Looking at the negatives here first, um, keeping in mind that this was just a fun exercise. Going into it, I had a few thoughts in terms of how the image quality will be affected because I had extra glass uh, in front of my lens and I'll be de-squeezing the pixels in post. So those were some of the things I was in the lookout for. Uh, this adapter specifically seems to produce a decent rendering with only a little bit of color cast uh, across the image, but where it uh, struggles, especially towards the edges, is the sharpness. The center seems fine, but as you move towards the sides, the sharpness falls off drastically, uh, as you can see in the edges here. And in terms of de-squeezing, it didn't necessarily affect the image as much as I thought it would. Uh, probably because these were high quality TIFF scans. Maybe if the scan was not great, the difference would be more evident. Uh, but also alternative to de-squeezing the horizontal side, you can squeeze the vertical um, one and a half times to achieve the same sort of result. And this uh, tip was given to me by my friend Ollie, uh, who also helped me film the outside bits for this video. So thanks Ollie for that tip. Um, another thing is that the ratio of 2.25 to 1 is not quite the expand ratio as we talked about before. It looks nice, but if you're specifically after the expand look, this ain't it. Unless, of course, you crop a bit off the top and the bottom. But then keep in mind that this is specific to this adapter, which is a 1.5 times adapter. But if you're using a 1.8x or a 2x anamorphic adapter, then you can definitely achieve the X-Pan look. I don't have either of those, so I'm not gonna be able to try, but if you have one of those adapters and if you wanna give it a shot, I'm curious to see how um, that looks. Uh, do let me know in the comments below. But now onto the positives. I had great fun shooting these, and that's probably my biggest positive coming out of this whole exercise. And the gain in the horizontal field of view is quite nice as well, so my 50 millimeter behaved like a 33 millimeter lens on the wide side and the anamorphic look you get on these images is really nice especially on portraits out of focus areas um, and oh the flare of course nice too if you're into it but overall the important thing for me was again to have some fun and that was achieved and sort of satisfied my curiosity also achieved it was refreshing to try something new and have a bit of fun along the way look if you own an anamorphic lens or an adapter I recommend you give it a try, um, even with your digital camera. But if not, this is not something you need to spend your money on to go out and get an anamorphic lens or an adapter to give it a shot, in my opinion. Um, going forward, I will probably use it sparingly if I'm out and about shooting with an Econ F4 or any other camera for that matter and I need a wider field of view or if I thought that the shot could benefit from this anamorphic look. Uh, I'll give it a shot, but um, it's not something that I'll shoot every shot with. Oh, one other negative I forgot to mention, even though this adapter specifically is relatively light compared to other ones on the market, I think this was like 400 grams, I still had a rough time towards the end of a whole day of shooting. And it's probably because the F4 is already a heavy camera and I was just using the strap that came with it and this being on the front of the lens, it made the whole thing front heavy and it sort of made it a bit uh, imbalanced in my opinion. So that's another negative it adds to the weight. But anyway, that's it for this, this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. And thank you once again to Ollie, my friend who helped me film the outside bits. I'll leave his um, socials in the description below. Check out his work. He's a great photographer and a videographer. Um, highly recommend checking his work out. But yeah, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for giving me your time. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.
Bye. Who really thinks your ear is a face? Yeah, I'm happy if you are. What's that? Bus. Cool. That's fine. Yeah? I think so, yeah. Okay. Would you like to put it in my hand? I would. Is that your secret? I wish there were more birds. We don't want more like you. Okay, I think that's good. Oh no, I made a mistake. I think that's enough. Oh, that one then. Woohoo!